Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Rich. I'm the portfolio manager here at RA Jones for our cup filling and sealing equipment, along with our beverage equipment. Today, we're gonna to talk about our cup filling and sealing equipment, which includes the Autoprod and Holmatic brands. RA Jones was founded in 1905, and we currently have three locations, one in Covington, Kentucky, one in Davenport, Iowa, and one in West Yorkshire, England. Out of those three locations, we support eight different technologies, aerosol, chub packaging, cartoning, cup filling systems, multi-packing, pouching, robotics, and map systems in a wide range of markets, ranging from food, beverage, dairy, pharma, personal care, industrial, and even other consumer goods. Argents has a lot of experience in cup filling. We have over 50 years of experience with over a thousand machines installed globally. Uh, we offer a wide range of equipment from semi-automated solutions all the way up to fully automated solutions that can run at up to 840 cups per minute. We have extended product line knowledge to solve both upstream and downstream challenges that our customers face. The typical feedback that we get from our customers is that we provide them with well-engineered solutions that are both reliable and durable, and we are able to customize our solutions to fit the needs of our customers. Now we'd like to talk about why customers buy from RA Jones again and again. One of those reasons is experience. RA Jones has engineered and installed over 9,000 machines over the last 114 years. We are active in eight different packaging technologies serving multiple industries. We have over 80 in-house engineers with an average tenure of at least 16 years. Another reason is service. RA Jones has over 40 factory certified technicians with a combined experience of over 600 years. We have robust offerings for remote assistance, on-site service, training, and even machine audits. We give our customers access to an experienced OEM parts department and modernizations team. Another reason is relationships. R. Jones is part of Coesia. Coesia is the global leader in industrial and packaging solutions. With 21 sister companies, R. A. Jones leverages the technological and service strengths of the group. And last, vendors seek us out first to apply their new and innovative OEE solution for validation. And finally, commitment. RA Jones has a full-time project management team which is dedicated to each customer project. Our equipment installation team stays on site until the customer performance expectations are achieved and we guarantee parts, service, and support of the equipment for a minimum of 20 years. And now we'd like to talk about the equipment that we offer within the cup filling and sealing systems portfolio. First, I would like to touch on our cup filling systems. Um, all the systems we're gonna talk about today, our cup filling, our sealing, and our overcapping systems can run a wide range of containers. They can run round, square, rectangular, and even oval containers. They can run straight wall or tapered wall containers. From a material standpoint, they can run your typical plastic container. They can also do glass, uh, metal, and even paper. The machines we're talking about today from a cup filling standpoint are our Autoprod CF840, our Autoprod CF400, and the Holmatic CF200. Uh, we'll touch on the Autoprod CF840 first. This is our high speed offering. This machine does have a speed range of up to 840 cups per minute, a fill volume range from 15 milliliters up to 2,500 milliliters. It's available in a lane, anywhere from a one lane machine all the way up to a 12 lane machine. Uh, we also do offer a coffee pod specific version of this machine that can go up to 700 coffee pods per minute. The next machine we'll touch on is our mid-speed machine, which is our Autoprod CF400. This machine goes up to 400 cups per minute and has a fill volume range from 300 milliliters up to around 1,000 milliliters and available in five, six, or eight lane configurations only. Um, our low speed offering is our Holmatic CF200. This machine goes up to 200 cups per minute the fill volume ranges is anywhere from around 35 milliliters up to 2,700 milliliters. It's available in lanes ranging from one to four. Typical applications for these machines are anywhere from cultured dairy products, dips and sauces, uh, all the way down to crackers, nuts, and even snacks. Next I would like to touch on our Homatic sealing systems. Uh, so for these machines here, these machines will just put the seal on the top of the container. So the, the container will need to come to these machines already filled. Uh, the first machine I'll touch on is our high-speed offering, which is our Holmatic CF CFS 750. This machine goes up to 750 containers per minute. It offers high sealing material utilization. Automatic film splicing is also available. 
and this machine is the fastest in the industry. Um, next, we'll touch on our multi-speed Holmatic CFS 720. Uh, once again, this machine goes up to 720 containers per minute. We have a, a wide range of equipment underneath this CFS 720 that ranges anywhere from 280 containers per minute all, all the way up to 720 containers per minute. Uh, we do offer no container, no sealed technology. And uh, this machine can also be purchased with our modified atmospheric packaging option also. Now we actually offer our map systems on all the equipment that I'm gonna talk about today. Uh, last will be our low speed Homatic CFS 100 sealer. Uh, this machine is up to 100 containers per minute. It is a rotary die cut heat seal. Uh, this machine is available in either a semi-automatic or automatic configuration, depending on what your speed requirements are. This machine is a small footprint rotary machine, which makes it nice to fit into plants where there's not a lot of space. Uh, typical applications are coffee and oatmeal, uh, nuts and crackers, and even sanitary wipes. Last, we'll talk about our Homatic overcapping systems. We offer two different machines here. Uh, one's our high-speed Homatic CF. 650 and our low speed Homatic CFO 200. Uh, the CFO 650 goes up to 650 containers per minute. Uh, we do offer an air conveying system that will provide the caps to this machine at a high rate of speed. Uh, we also offer an inverted cap detection and reject station, uh, adjustable table supports. This machine is stainless steel and hard anodized aluminum construction. Our low speed solution, our Homatic CFO 200, goes up to 200 containers per minute. This machine is a small footprint machine, which once again requires less floor space, which is nice. It is a quick changeover. And like all the machines I talked about today, all these machines can be purchased with additional change parts, which greatly increases the flexibility and value of the machine. And now we'll show you our new AutoProd CF400 machine for a customer manufacturing various dip products. Now we're gonna to talk to Nate. Nate is our innovation manager here at RA Jones. Nate, why don't you tell the audience a little bit more about the machine we have behind us today. Uh, this is an AutoProd CF400. It comes in 1x5, 1x6, and 1x8 configurations. And it'll run uh, cups up to 5.5 inch diameter. Uh, what type of different sealing options do we have for this machine? Uh, we have the pre-cut lids that you'll see today, and then we also have a roll stop uh, film option. Okay. And this machine is full stainless steel construction, and it is 3A dairy certified, correct? Yeah, we had a third party inspector come in and that's 3A certified and all the plastics uh, used on the machine are 3A certified. All right. Uh, Nate, what customer, what products is the customer running on this machine? Well, we're running cheese, salsa, and frostings. And what are the cup depths or cup diameters? Uh, they have three different cup diameters. So okay. they, they change the platens over for three different sizes. Um, and then they have six different height changes, which are uh, mostly uh, automated via the box. They change the, the fill volume too, I I guess. Do you know what, remember what the fill volume range was? Uh, one to eight ounces. Okay. That's uh, recipe driven on the HMI. Okay. Do you know why this customer was looking for new equipment? Well, they're looking to uh, get their production capacity up. Okay. The uh, customer is a co-packer, correct? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, why don't we talk about some of the new features on this CF400 that customers are, would be interested in. Um, why don't we start up there at this end of the, of the machine and talk about the cup denester and we'll work our way down. Yeah, on the denester, we have a, a slide plate denester and that's a quick changeover and it's a little different than uh, screws that people are used to. Um, so you just pull a pin, pull a plate out, and uh, your denester changes over, and then you uh, change the diameter parts, which all just hang on there. All right. And what's the camera doing just downstream of the denester? Uh, that's looking to see if your cup is clean. We've got that shown on one lane there. And what that does is if there's a particle larger than 60 thousandths of a diameter, it won't fill that cup, it won't put a lid on it, won't seal it, and it'll reject it. All right. Uh, why don't we tell the audience, audience a little bit more about the pulse light system that we have here. So the pulse light system is to sanitize the inside of the cup. It doesn't remove anything from the cup. It does uh, kill anything that is any organisms that are living in it. And it has a, a pulse that is very quick and it has a, a UV spectrum and a little further and it just uh, breaks the bonds in the molecules. All right. Cool. So next, let's talk about a little bit more about the, the filler. So this is our latest and greatest sealess filler, correct? Yeah, that's a CIP filler. And we call it our sealess filler. And the reason we do that is because the piston actually does not have a seal on the diameter of it. It's a close fit running tolerance. And 
and it actually has product on both sides of the piston, which creates the seal. So these novel nozzles are a little bit different too, because they are both tracking and diving nozzles, right? What are some of the benefits to having tracking and diving nozzles? So diving nozzles are for uh, peaking or splashing, uh, which is where you want the product to kind of break away. Uh, and the tracking is just to get you a little bit of extra fill time. All right. Now there's, there's a large space downstream of the uh, filler. What do we typically put in this, in this space? Well, typically here we'd put a second CIP filler, possibly with a different nozzle. Sometimes people run uh, two different products in one container. And then other times uh, we might integrate a third party filler uh, okay. if customer has a specialty product. Okay. Now you mentioned this customer is going to be changing out the platens quite often when they change their cup diameters. Um, how would one go about changing the platens on, on this machine for cup diameter change? Well, on this front rail, we have some knobs here and there's some proximity sensors and you can actually put it into changeover mode and remove this rail and it will run without the rail and you take a bunch of pockets out. They just lift right off of the belt drive. You put the new pockets on, and then you close the door, hit the start button, and it will index about you know 12 indexes and then stop again for you and you can replace some more pockets. If a customer was going to do a cup diameter change on this machine, about how long would it take them? One person's about 45 minutes and then you can do it a lot, a lot quicker with two people. Okay. You mentioned the belt drive before. So this machine's a little bit different where it uses a belt to drive the, the platens versus a chain like most other people use. Uh, what are some of the advantages of having a belt drive versus a chain drive? Well, it's a truly endless belt, which means it's all constructed out of one piece. It's not welded together. So it's very strong and it doesn't stretch. And that's the big advantage over a chain is if you have a, a long machine with heavy platens on it, the chain will stretch and you're adjusting your stations every so often. So you get a lot better precision out of this um, it's about a factor of four better, and then you don't have to adjust your stations as you go. Yeah, and you also don't have to uh, adjust the belt for, for belt stretch either, and you don't, have to, you don't have to oil it either, so there's some other advantages too. Yeah, and it is FDA approved. Okay. Um, why don't we move down here and talk about the lid uh, pick and place system here. So the foils go in the top tray up there, and you can actually slide that out while the machine's running, and then you uh, push it back in. When you close the door, it'll detect that you've reloaded the lids, and the machine will pause with the uh, suction cups up to hold the lids and it'll drop them into the lower magazine that prevents them from you know falling through like they do on some machines and then uh, as you're running you actually pull the lid down and pull past the pulse light which isn't on right now and uh, we'll place the lid down onto the uh, cup now the drive of this is pretty unique back there with the patented sealed rotary drive correct why don't you tell the audience audience a little bit more about the sealed rotary drive. So that's something we designed to be IP69K. We test it with a power washer at high pressure uh, with hot uh, water. And uh, it's meant to keep the bearings, the gearbox and the, the servo, you know, out of the washdown area, makes them last longer, uh, makes them perform better. And uh, basically you have no adjustment in that other than on the HMI just to change the uh, the pick height and the drop height. Okay. And we also have one other camera just downstream of that. What's this other camera looking for? That is actually looking at the foil to make sure it checks the picture back to the recipe and make sure that you're actually running the correct foil and that it's actually all the way over the container. Um, when you have just the regular sensors, you can't always tell if the foil is shifted a little bit. It's kind of a foil there or not there and the camera takes it to the next level and tells you if you have the right foil and if it's in the right location. Okay. So next thing to touch on is the heat seal unit here. Um, there are some unique features here with this heat, heat seal unit. Mm -hmm. Nate, why don't you kind of elaborate on what, what some of those features are? Yeah, so we have air cylinders on each heat seal head. They don't fire during normal operation. They actually retract when they seal the, see that you're missing a lid or a cup and we don't try to seal uh, something that we shouldn't which uh, can make a mess out of the cup. Sure. Uh, it also can go up into a maintenance position, uh, about four inches, and then it can be pulled out. Uh, and you can see all the wiring short on it. So all the heads come out all wired up. You can change out just one, uh, or you could clean a head real quickly. Now you mentioned before, if we had a cup that didn't have a, a lid on it, that it wouldn't seal. So then that would go over here to the, the reject and sampling conveyor, right? Yes, it comes out on the first conveyor uh, so that 
essentially you're not getting any cups that have, have been detected to have an issue with them. You're not getting any of those out on the discharge. Anything that's bad would go out on the very first conveyor. And then you can also use this for sampling if you wanted to, to do some sampling of, of your product, make sure it meets your specifications too. Yeah, correct? so you can sample by lane uh, and pick any lane or you can sample all of them at once. All right, perfect, Nate. Thank you for that great, great description. Now we're gonna see sure. the CF400 running cups.